Welcome to the Ultimate Frog Optical Race Course. Today, we're competitors will be competing on never before seen obstacles. All the competitors managing to get past our qualifying course will be faced with brand new obstacles. With the starting line, they will be faced with the usual obstacle, the hurdle. Next is the never before seen obstacle, the floating swing. Competitors got to make their way across and then go to the couple steps. They will make across, then the pipe slider, where they will go across the pipe, and then face the monkey bar. From there, sprint across the slippery corner, and you have to get in five different bean bags. From there, it's truly thingy. And you will not be able to hold it past that white tape. You place it down here, and you'll have to jump over it without knocking it over. Next, you will climb up to the top and go around. Not once, not twice, but three times in one section until you reach the other side. From there, it's the next obstacle, the stumps. It's the stumps. They've been redesigned to be extra challenging, extra slippery, and extra tough. After that, it's the hurdles for the second time. Same with the floating swings for the second time and the control steps. Then it's the monkey poles and monkey bars. Then you will sprint around this pole without touching it, along, around some of the other obstacles, and go all the way over all four hurdles back to where the starting line was, then back all four hurdles, and you'll be going to those white rocks, when you complete it, you're finished. First competitor up today is Christian Charette. Here he is at the starting line, and he's off as he goes over the first hurdle. Impressive second hurdle. With amazing speed. This is one serious competitor. As he approaches the new obstacle, he doesn't know how to handle his obstacle. He has never competed it before, and come to think of it, no one has ever competed on this obstacle before. It's a brand new obstacle. No one knows how to attempt it. But he looks like he's going pretty well. Yes, he's thorough, thorough. He did not fall. The judges say so. He's moving across the quintuple steps as he moves on to the pipe slider. After finishing good on the pipe slider, he does the monkey pulls a little slipper. Thunder in speed as he moves on to the beanbag throw. He's throwing his first couple as we can't see it yet. He throws that one, looks like a miss, another miss, another miss. Another, that one would look like it was in, and another miss as he rushes to get his beanbags. He's coming back with his beanbags. He throws it, miss, for the next one. Looks like it went in, good job for him. Oh, another one, looks like it was in. That was a miss. in so far as to get two in. One left. Can he make it in? Hope he can. There's the next one. Oh, looks like it's in. Oh! Miss! Oh, and he stumbles there. Great recovery as he comes back. Just one more beanbag to make him made in. He misses it. Coming back. This is intense. Can he make it in? Will he be disqualified? There's a limit to how many beanbags you have to throw. He throws and it goes in! Yes! As he moves on to Tubi Thingy, moving back and forth, doing the switching hands, which is required by the rules, he's moving on to the bench. Or he rests down Tubi Thingy. No, doing a long jump, just short jump, whoops, going to the wrong ladder. He's going on the right ladder now, as he goes around on his first time. Second time. Second and a half. Second time. And he goes down. Wait a minute. Did he? I guess he, the judges haven't said anything as he goes around the steps. Now, doing the quintuple. As he goes over the hurdles. Looking good on the hurdles as he 
Ball to the new Oxy Ball that he's already gotten to try. But he looked like he didn't really know how to approach it next time. Let's hope it's different this time. Looking good. Look, looking experienced. Even though he's only done this one time. It's a little hard to see him, but he finishes up. Whoa, this mouth like a pro and approaches the quintuple steps, which he does with ease as he approaches the next obstacle. Looks like he almost got it there, but went safe. And now he's doing the monkey bar. Whoa, and he's out! That was surprising. Christian Surrett out. With our next competitor, Michaela, about to step up onto the starting block. Can she turn around with Christian Charette? Couldn't manage to do, and she's off, going over the hurdles. Looking good on the hurdles. Finishing up the hurdles, and she goes on for an obstacle that she has never done before. Only Christian has ever done this obstacle before. Looking like she knows how to do it. Looking a little stuck up there. She looked stuck, but now she's managing to move past it. And complaining that good. Looking okay, a little nervous on the dismount, but she does it pretty good. Did she make it? And the ref say it was good as she moves on to the quintuple steps. And then doing the pipe slider, which is an intense obstacle, as she does the pipe slider. She Carries the next obstacle that just took out Christian Surratt. He does the monkey bars, looking good. Where the mistake the competitor before her just made. And she goes around, sprints to the next obstacle, the beanbag throw. Oh, and it's in! Oh, that's a bad miss. Another miss. Another miss as she rushes to get her bean bags. I think she's got two in already. No, just one. Got the evidence. Whoa! Another miss. Just to get another one in. Did we miss it? Oh, that one looks like it went in. Throwing more. Another one went in. This is good as she comes. Another miss. Coming to collect the game bag. Wonder if she can make it. Prepares to throw. And it's a mess. With another mess. Whoa, those are something coming so close. Another mess bounced off the backboard. Oh, another mess rolls away. Coming to collect the bag, bean bag. Really bad from time. Okay. Missing another one. Missing another one. Will she be able to pull this together and move past it as she misses another one? Coming back to collect team bags. She only has to make a couple more in and she will be advancing to the next obstacle. There's one more in. Can she make it in? It looks like it was a miss. A miss. Comes back looking for bean bags, and he's collecting the other bean bags. Not collecting all of them, a risky move. And she misses another one. She misses another one. She misses again. Coming back to collect them. She didn't collect all of them, which is a risky move, but it conserves time. But she doesn't have as many chances. It's like a miss. Another miss. And another miss. Whoa, one more and it's a miss. The problem with not collecting all the beanbags. She, she doesn't have as many chances. Bring the beanbags back. Can she make this? This is just the situation that Christian was in. Oh, and it's that and she's advancing to the chubby thingy. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't in. Oh, I saw. Did she move? Next one. That was definitely a miss. That looked like it was in. And so did the judges. And she's moving on. 
Scooby thingy. Time to switch your hands. Doesn't look like she's following the rules quite exactly, but no one's saying anything. And moving on, place it on the bed. She's approaching. She places it down. She's gonna go for a long jump or a short jump. Short jump right over it. And she's moving on to the next obstacle. Going around half a time. One time. Approaching her second time. She's done around two times. Approaching her third time. Three times around. Wait. Oh, she went a little extra. I won't say that's against the rules since it was to her disadvantage. Now she's going around the stumps. Completing it. Not jumping off too late. And going around the hurdles for the second time. We'll go around the hurdles four times in this intense course. Michaela Surrett says she practices basketball a lot and skiing. But, and a lot of ultimate frog. It looks like she's stuck here. She's reaching for it. Big soccer player, she says. And that really helps the ultimate frog. As she's moving on to the second swimming. Chains. These chains are connected by a platform, which makes it easier for the competitors. Maybe a later version of this obstacle will have only chains. As she finishes the obstacle strong, moving on to the quintuple steps. One, two, three, four, five. Not taking them super fast. Doing a humongous jump in the next obstacle as she moves on to the monkey bars. No competitor has made it past this bar. Just a few more swings and she has beaten Christian Surratt! That was amazing. Now she's moving around. She can do this! She's moving! She's approaching where the finish line used to be. Going over the last hurdle. Running over, touching the old finish starting line, and sprinting that back to the finish, going over the highest hurdle with ease, going next to the next highest hurdle, trying to hurdle the smallest hurdle, and sprinting to the finish! That was a nice performance, except for the beanbag part. She did a great job. But find out how the better competitors do. What ultimate frog returns? Find out how Jacob Burns fares on this course. Welcome back to the ultimate frog obstacle race course. While you were away, many competitors failed on this course. Now, next up is Jacob Burns. How will he do, an experienced ultimate frog veteran? Jacob Burns is off and he's going over the second hurdle. Okay, good as he goes over the third hurdle. Fourth hurdle and approaches a new obstacle to swing, which he has never done before. Taking his time about getting on to the first swing, he has to be careful or he is out of this competition. It looks like he might be stuck here. We can put up for the second swing. Taking his time getting onto the second swing. Now trying to get onto the third swing, reaching his foot up. This is a good way to do this obstacle. Looks like he's paying off. As he's trying to reach out, take, getting a good swing before he dismounts. Now for the quintuple steps. He goes over, first two tires, and then the next step, he goes to the pipe slider. Yeah, well, what's he doing? He's not doing the pipe slider exactly. Well, uh, the judges say that if you don't do the pipe slider, there is an equivalent that you can do instead of the pipe slider, which is what Jacob Burns is doing right now. Now he's finishing up the monkey pole pipe slider, and now he's starting the monkey bar. A tough upper body strength obstacle. Christian Surrett fell on this obstacle. 
And now Jacob Burns did not make that same mistake as he's rushing to the next obstacle. The beanbag throw. Looks like not so part of the equipment there. But ref said nothing. Throwing this to the beanbag. See, can he do this? Throwing another one. Throwing another one. I can't see if they're hits or he misses. Good guy, that one was in. I think he's got two in. Now going to the next one. Bringing him back. Yes, he has three more in. So like another miss. Another miss. Another miss. And another miss. I feel that the thumb was in. So now he has to get two more in. Another uh, miss. That was coming back. Getting his two bags. Got a three second throw. Again. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like he got him in. Bring the pipe slider. So two tries on the tubey thing here. Well, what? Looks like he fell. He's going to have a ton of uh, disadvantage here as he's starting over again. Doing the tubey thing. He's taking much concentration. And the rules are he has to keep switching hands, which is even more challenging. If he drops it again, he won't get another reboot. He has to put it down in the brown stand and then jump over it. If he knocks it over while jumping over it, he is automatically disqualified. Taking a really long jump. How many of the competitors do that? Showing off at the end. If he goes around, going around one time, going around one and a half time, two times. I mean, wait, wait a minute. He only went down two times. Let's take the judge to say something about that. Going around the stump, good. And like we were saying, the ref said that he will have a five second penalty for not going around. And here he is going around the hurdles as he's approaching the next obstacle for the second time. Approaching the new obstacle for the second time. This is only the second time that he has ever done this obstacle. Looking stuck there. He's reconsidering which way he's gonna do it as he reaches for the next swing. He's reaching for the next swing. Trying to get as much swing as possible before going for the third swing. Reaching out for the third swing. Oh, he misses it! And then he gets the third swing. And now he's gonna try to, if he, he should try to get a long swing and not worry about the time. Taking off a good dismount. Doesn't look like he hit it, but he might have. The rush on San Angel. He's going down from step to step to step to step, finishing up the last step. Now doing the monkey pole. This is an obstacle of upper body strength. This is also the same place where it's used to play Ultimate Frog Big Pig. Here he is going across, preparing, wiping off his hands. Sweaty hands. Really bad for this obstacle to cause you to slip. Maybe that's what happened to Christian. Because this is where exactly where he fell. Jacob Burns, make it past Christian. He is now guaranteed. He's stuck a place right now. He's past Christian, but he has to go a lot further to beat Michaela. Just back to the old starting line and back. Here he is, going over the highest hurdle. Takes him a little bit of time there, but not too bad. Running back, touching the old starting line. It's a sprint at the finish as he goes over the lowest hurdle. Sprinting over the highest hurdle with thundering speed. Going over the next hurdle. Going over the next hurdle. This is amazing. A sprint to the finish. And he came one second Woo! away from beating Michaela Surratt. Next up is experienced competitor James Burns, who has become the ultimate frog on many occasions. Here he is, and he's off going over the first hurdle. Jumping over the second hurdle. Looks a little reckless there, going over all the hurdles as he's moving up to the next obstacle, which he has never done before. Take a fast approach, but speed 
isn't always what you want. Because like you saw with Christian, he was trying to hurry and he fell. So moving on, looks like he was stuck on the first one as he jumps off, running over the steps. Going over one, this is a new obstacle too. And now it's the pipe slider. This is, takes incredible upper body strength to do the obstacle, but he's doing it pretty quick. Going to the monkey bars, going over the bars, there. Not going the best technique, and then sprinting across to the next obstacle, the beanbag throw. Taking the beanbags, not waiting for anything. He's running back. Wait a minute, the beanbags weren't there. That's gonna be a couple seconds off. Throwing, can he keep that one in or not. Don't know how many he's got in. It's like, go that one went in. Next, next one, that's an obvious miss. This one, made another miss. Coming back. He's running, trying to hurry. Because this course is all about time. Here he is, getting the next beanbag. Throwing it, looks like he goes, no, that was a miss. Throwing the next one, looks like that oh, went in. The next one, he's throwing it. Whoa, and then there's another miss. Running to collect the beanbag. Here he is, taking the beanbag back. Throwing one beanbag, looks like it goes, miss. Next one, miss. The next beanbag, is the no that one looks like it's in. The next one, in. The next one, looks like that was in too, and he's getting two big thingies. Moving, switching, can't stick knee. Just one drop and it's all over and he has to restart. And then another drop after that and he's totally out. And he's moving onto the bench. A lot of competitors drop this, like previous competitor, Max Thompson got all the way there and then he slipped on the two big thingy and he's going, now going around. You can't fall off this, going around one time. Going around two times. Going around three times. Unlike Jacob and Christian, who both missed. Going around. Now going over the hurdle, over the next hurdle, over the next hurdle, sprinting along. Approaching the swings for the second time. He's only done this obstacle once. No competitor was allowed to get a sneak peek of this obstacle, so no one knew what it would be like until they got here. And we'll just have to guess what floating swings would be like. Because here he is, getting, going to this nice dismount there. Getting down to the step for the second time. New obstacle. Now going across monkey pole. The pipe slider bar is still there. He has to go around that a little harder. Now not causing anything to go over monkey bars and sprinting around for the finish. Sprinting around to the hurdle for the second time. Going over the second to highest. Going over the highest hurdle. Going over the next hurdle. Running to the old finish line. Touching it, running back, jumping over the lowest hurdle, going to the highest one. But there's only two hurdles left before a sprint to the finish. One, two hurdles, he's got to set the record! Sprinting to the finish, yeah. and he's become the next ultimate frog! In first place, we've got a new ultimate frog, James Burns. With a time of four minutes and five seconds, point four, the best time by far. Second place, we've got Michaela Surrett with a time of six minutes and 31 seconds, point eight. And then Jacob Burns with a time of six minutes, 32 seconds, point four. Jacob Burns would have beat Michaela Surrett, but he did a couple of the obstacles wrong and did not one altogether. And Christian Surrett, who was disqualified on the second time on the monkey bars. And a shoe fell off. And in fifth place, we've got Max Thompson, who tripped on top of Tootie Thingy and fell on top of the tennis ball. And we've got Joe Ellis, who breezed through the hurdles but fell on the swinging 
swings. And we've got John Thompson, who broke his eyeglasses on the hurdles and later walked straight into the next obstacle. And then we've got Katie Smith, who fell when she made all the way past the pipe slider, but then fell forward. And in last place, we've got Bonnie the Carpet Cleaner, who disqualified on the first hurdle. He made it, he couldn't make it over, then he fell on his face, and tried again, and fell on his face again, and tried again, and fell on his face again. And let's give one more round for Barney! And his sidekick, Poo Poo! Yeah, Poo -poo! Call Barney's Carpet Cleaners at 1-800-NOT-A-REAL-NUMBER.COM. That's 1-800-NOT-A-REAL-NUMBER.COM. Barney's Carpet Cleaners, now featuring special deals like 0% off and the We Win, You Lose Sweepstakes. Not a clue. Let's give it up one more time for James Burns. An unbelievable time on this course. That was unbelievable. And now he has been crowned the ultimate frog. Be with us next time to see who will compete against him and who will be the next ultimate